guys, today I'm making a miniature erupting volcano, vinegar, and baking soda. I've always thought these volcanoes were super cool and that it would be fun to make a miniature one. And as you can imagine, it absolutely was. If you like this craft, please subscribe. And if you guys make it, you can tag me on Instagram and I'll totally come check it out. And finally kids, do be sure and ask a parent for help before starting this craft. So I print the baking soda box and vinegar label on paper, cut out and assemble my box. And for the vinegar, I'm using a bubble tea straw, which I cut down to about an inch. And to shape the top of the bottle, I'm carefully using hot glue and I'm going around the edges slowly, gradually going toward the center, but leaving a hole in the middle. And then I can use a toothpick or something to pull the hot glue from the center down. And then I just kind of move it around to make sure that it dries in the center. And it may take about a minute for the hot glue to dry. Then I cut off the tip revealing a hole in the middle. Next, I cut out a piece of craft foam paper to fit inside of that hole as a lid. And I just narrow the ends until it fits tightly. And then I can glue a small circle of craft foam to the top. Now this isn't a perfect lid, so I wouldn't hold the bottle upside down and like squeeze uh, because it probably will leak out of this little lid, but it'll do if like your bottle just falls on its side. Next I lay out parchment paper and hot glue and seal the bottom. And this usually takes 40 seconds to a minute. I let it dry and then peel off the glue. Making sure it's completely sealed. Next, I add my vinegar and so I'm just squeezing out the air from inside of my bottle and then it kind of sucks up the vinegar. And you can only get about halfway full with your bottle. Now, if you made your opening a little bit bigger, you might be able to use an eyedropper to squeeze in your vinegar. I tape on my label. Pop on my lid and my vinegar is good to go. Then I add the baking soda to my assembled box. And for my volcano, I'm just using a little lid. I cut out a thick piece of craft foam and then a thin piece for the base which I glue together. And then here I'm just using brown clay to make my volcano. And so this isn't oven baked clay, it's just the kind of clay that won't dry out. And if you don't have brown, which I didn't, I just mixed purple, red, black, and orange. And the nice thing about using clay is you can rinse it off and do it over and over again. I add my vinegar. quickly add my baking soda and you are so totally good to go. Well guys, I sure hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks guys!